Hi loves, in this week's Get Your Life Together Challenge, I'm decluttering my clothes and personal items the KonMari way based off the book The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. I love to declutter every few months, but at the end of the year, I always find time to do a major declutter so I can create space for new energy for the new year. By the way, there's a giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure you stay till the end to find out more. First, I found this KonMari checklist that I made years ago. If you want a copy of this checklist, I'll leave a link in the description to the blog post with a PDF. It's still super helpful to this day. For clothes, we start with tops. For those of you who don't know, the first step of the KonMari method is to remove all of the items from their usual storage and place them in a pile to sort through. Then you pick up each item one by one and ask yourself, does this spark joy? If it does, then you keep it. If it doesn't, then you discard it. It's a bit tedious, but that's how you make sure every item you own is valuable and important to you. At this point, I decided to put on a playlist, just some chill music so it doesn't distract me, but I'm also not bored. Next, we move on to bottoms, which include pants, shorts, and skirts. One of my dilemmas is when I find an item that is brand new, I got it recently, haven't worn it, or maybe worn it once or twice, and yet I find that it doesn't spark that much joy. It's hard to let it go because I feel like I haven't worn it enough and it's a waste if I let it go, so I usually decide to keep it so I can give it another chance and see if it could fit into a new outfit that maybe I haven't discovered yet. I'm curious, do you guys experience this? If so, what do you do in this situation? Let me know in the comments below. After that, we tidy dresses, jackets, and coats. Then I'll quickly tackle my socks and underwear, which I keep in these drawers. Then my bras and swimsuits. Lastly, I went through my hats. You're also supposed to do accessories at this point, but I think I felt tired and I just wanted to move on to the next category. So here's the final discard pile for all the clothes I decluttered today. The next category in KonMari is books but I don't have that many books in my apartment since I read only ebooks now. The only ones I have are my favorite ones and those that have been gifted to me by my podcast guests, so I kind of want to keep all of them. Now I'm going to bag up my clothes that I want to donate. I already had another bag of clothes that I set aside for my last declutter, so here I'm just putting it all together. Next, I'm gonna move on to my makeup and skincare products. I feel like some people would be surprised to see my makeup collection. As an influencer, I do get sent a lot of makeup and skincare products. I know I'm very blessed, I feel very lucky all the time, but it does force me to go through a lot of stuff on the regular. Like I always have to declutter right when I get a package. I keep the ones that I like and set aside the rest for donations. Still, I end up having a lot of stuff. I do love playing with colors, so it does make me happy to have a lot of options for makeup. So here is my discard pile for makeup. Next, I'm moving on to skincare. I use a lot of skincare products. Skincare is a major necessity for me. It's one of my top priorities. So here, I'm just going through everything that I have and seeing if anything is expired or I just won't use it anymore. I found a few things to discard, but to be honest, most of my skincare products are brand new and unopened, so I keep them in boxes in the cabinets. So here, I'm just organizing all of the products that I keep in my cabinet so it's less of a mess. So here is my discard pile of skincare items. All right, so here's the stuff that I'm gonna donate. We have the clothes from earlier, and then we have some new makeup that I've set aside to donate. There is foundation in literally all colors and an assortment of makeup in this box. I'm planning to donate all of this to the women's shelter in downtown LA. Don't worry, I did not forget about you guys. Here is the giveaway of beauty and skincare goodies that I've set aside just for you. So I'm gonna pick one winner to win this entire beauty and skincare bundle. We have some natural skincare products, a selfie light, primer spray, a moisturizer, mask, eyeshadows, lipsticks, blush, basically a lot of great stuff. So to enter, you must be subscribed to my channel, follow my Instagram at Lavendaire, and then comment on my recent photos on Instagram with your favorite flower emojis. We'll be choosing the winner from the comments on Instagram and you can enter as many times as you want. All right, thanks for watching and have a happy new year. I love you guys so much and wishing you the best, the brightest, the most beautiful new year in 2019. Bye.